Hello, and welcome to this presentation on ST's Intelligent Power Modules, focusing on our SLIM second series. SLIM stands for Small Low Loss Intelligent Molded Module, and it is a trademark of ST Microelectronics. In this presentation, we will discover ST's SLIM second series of Intelligent Power Modules, IPMs, designed for high performance and best efficiency in three-phase inverters, for motor drives, and in general, for home appliances. We will see what makes IPMs so interesting, the features and benefits of the SLIM second series, the different package options and products to cover a wider power range, and to approach different applications with a focus on direct bonded copper DBC packages. Then we will see some benchmarks to verify the power and thermal performance of the SLIM second series and discuss the new superjunction MOSFET-based SLIM second series. Finally, we'll give an overview of available tools and software dedicated to our IPMs. In many modern applications belonging to the motor control sector, the integration of passive and active components is a fundamental requirement to reduce size and weight. The main purpose of IPM is to introduce a plug-and-play solution where peripheral circuitry and power devices ranging from IGBT technology, planar and trench gate field stop, and MOSFET, planar or superjunction, are embedded in the same package. This leads to higher power dissipation, lower losses and EMI noise, improved manufacturability and PCB routing, reduced design time, and improved reliability. Our Intelligent Power Modules, IPMs, cover the entire motor control sector, both in low and medium power motor drives for home appliances, as well as high power motor drives for industrial applications. Whichever motor technology you use, ST is able to supply the right electronic device. The main feature of our SLIM second series is that it is designed to be the best IPM solution for three-phase inverters, up to 3 kilowatts for use in home appliances. This result is achieved thanks to our technology, controlled 100% by ST for silicon, drivers, IGBTs, MOSFETs, and diodes, and our flexibility to address market needs with a wide current range, from 1 to 35 amps for power scalability, as well as UL certification. Today's extensive SLIM family consists of two main series, SLIM Nano, first and second series, and the SLIM second series. In 2008, ST started developing its SLIM family of small, low-loss intelligent molded modules with the first single and three-phase IPMs. With the introduction of TFS IGBT technology in 2012, it became possible to develop the new SLIM second series in a smaller package. This trend to save space continued from 2016 up to now when the SLIM Nano series was developed and improved, with a range of IPMs available in an SMD package. ST continues to improve its SLIM family, as evidenced by the release of new Superjunction MOSFET-based products at the end of October 2018. Designed to be the best solution for home appliances, thanks to its wide current scalability, the SLIM IPMs can be found in all types of white goods. Able to work in low-power applications such as roller shutters, fans, dishwashers, compressors for fridges, drum motors, and drain pumps for washing machines, they can also be used in medium and high-power applications, including air conditioners, servo motors, and in any motor drive up to 3 kilowatts. SLIM second series modules offer key features, including high flexibility and enhanced efficiency, thanks to the 600 volt in trench gate field stop IGBT or superjunction MOSFET technology, as well as their very wide current range from 8 
up to 35 amps. Two package solutions are available, full molded or DBC, direct bonded copper, together with a maximum operating junction temperature of 175 degrees Celsius for IGBT and 150 degrees Celsius for superjunction MOSFET. And the best thermal resistance on the market, these modules offer improved thermal performance. Moreover, the two temperature monitoring solutions, a temperature sensor and a negative temperature coefficient, NTC thermistor, in addition to other special features, ensure protection functions embedded in the power module. Combining six switches in an inverter configuration with a 600 volt breakdown voltage, current capability from 8 up to 35 amps at 25 degrees Celsius, and optimized gate drivers, slim second series devices provide a low VCE SAT, the lowest RTH on the market for DBC packages, low EMI, and an isolation rating of 1500 VRMS per minute. With internal bootstrap diodes, a maximum operating junction temperature of 170 degrees Celsius, and a separated open emitter for current sensing, these devices include an onboard NTC thermistor and temperature sensor, comparator, and shutdown circuit to ensure protection against overcurrent and under voltage conditions. As said, these modules can be used in any three phase inverter design, including refrigerators, pumps and compressors, washing machines, air conditioners, servo drives, and all types of motor drives up to 3 kilowatts. Using six superjunction MOSFETs with low on resistance and the lowest thermal resistance on the market, with a maximum operating junction temperature of 150 degrees Celsius, the slim second series in superjunction MOSFET technology differs from the previous series in that it helps applications working at light load condition, like air conditioners, BLDC compressors, and so on, achieve better performance. In regards to packages, ST offers two solutions, a full molded version for a cost-effective solution ideal for low to medium power platforms, and a DBC, direct bonded copper version, that offers improved thermal dissipation for applications in the high power range. Both packages are DIP molded with a lead frame for the signal side with enhanced creepage and an improved pinout for easier PCB designs. A three lead option is also available with long, medium, or short leads. Medium leads are only available on the full molded version, 8 and 10 amps at 25 degrees Celsius. An important improvement in package technology is the use of the DBC structure, in which two layers of copper are directly bonded onto an aluminum oxide ceramic base. This structure gives excellent electrical isolation, high thermal conductivity, high current carrying capability, and mechanical strength. Together with the vacuum soldering process that prevents gas inclusions and the superjunction MOSFET technology, this structure ensures higher reliability and the lowest thermal resistance value on the market. This figure clearly shows that for the same current capability, the full molded package has 4.6 degrees centigrade per watt and the DBC with IGBT has 2.26 degrees centigrade per watt, while the DBC with superjunction MOSFET technology has a thermal resistance of only 1.1 degrees centigrade per watt. The slim second series family includes two temperature monitoring solutions, a temperature sensor integrated on the LS low side gate driver, and an NTC negative temperature coefficient thermistor placed in the power stage. A voltage proportional to the temperature is available on the TSO, temperature sensor output, and the delta temperature is about 10 degrees Celsius. 
For accurate junction temperature monitoring, a temperature measurement is available on the NTC pins. The advantage of having the NTC is the possibility to accurately monitor the temperature thanks to a delta temperature of 1.2 degrees Celsius instead of 10 degrees Celsius with the VTSO sensor. The nomenclature of these products is very simple and easy to memorize. Each digit refers to a specific characteristic. As part of ST, G stands for IGBT-based, I stands for IPM. The next digit refers to the package solution, B for DBC and F for full molded, following a digit for the current indication at 80 degrees Celsius. The next digit refers to the IGBT technology speed, CH for TFS-H series IGBT, M for TFS-M series IGBT. Then the breakdown voltage divided by 10. XYZ refers to temperature sensing and protection. T means NTC on board, S for temperature sensor. The last digit refers to the lead finish options, L for long leads, E for short leads and emitter forward, X for medium leads only for full molded package. A different nomenclature is used for the superjunction MOSFET-based SLIM devices. As part of ST, I stands for IPM, B for DBC package, continuous drain current at 25 degrees Celsius, breakdown voltage divided by 10, DM2 is the MOSFET technology, MD mesh DM2 in this case, T means NTC on board, L means long lead finish option. The product portfolio in mass production includes the full molded version with current capability from 8 to 15 amps and the DBC version from 12 up to 35 amps, both with a breakdown voltage of 600 volts. Let's highlight the minimum thermal resistance of 1.2 degrees centigrade per watt for DBC devices to improve thermal performance in high power range applications. The short circuit withstand time is 5 microseconds for slim devices from 8 up to 20 amps and 8 microseconds for 25 and 35 amps. For the new SLIM devices with superjunction MOSFET technology, two current sizes are available, 10 and 15 amp, with 180 and 150 milliohms respectively, and with a higher short circuit with stand time equal to 12 microseconds. Why do we say that our IPMs are the best solution in the market? To answer this question, we will look at some benchmarks in order to verify the advantages of using ST products versus those of the competition. In this first benchmark, our STGI B8H60 has been compared with the same current size competitor. In this first benchmark, our STGI B8H60 has been compared with the same current size competitor. The two have been simulated in a washing machine in working condition. The results show us that for a peak current of 5 amps, ST's IPM performs better than the competitors over the whole frequency range, reducing power losses by about 18.5% at 20 kHz. In the thermal simulation, we see that for a case temperature fixed at 100 degrees Celsius and an ambient temperature of 50 degrees Celsius, our IPM needs a smaller heat sink to maintain the fixed case temperature and ensure a lower junction temperature, as shown in the figure. In a second simulation, using STGIB10CH60 in an air conditioner in working conditions, again, ST's IPM shows better performance, reducing power losses by about 8 to 9 percent requiring a smaller heat sink to maintain the fixed case temperature and showing a junction temperature that's about 10 degrees Celsius less.
Now, let's talk about the differences in performance arising from the use of the two different silicon technologies. Why choose one over the other? In MOSFET technology, the forward voltage decreases linearly with the drain current, whereas in IGBT technology, the voltage drop is not linear with the collector current. Thanks to their static characteristics, power MOSFETs offer lower conduction loss than IGBTs at a low current level. Therefore, for low load conditions, the superjunction MOSFET is better than the IGBT, whilst in full load conditions, the IGBT performs better. This slide specifically shows two working condition cases, a fan and an air conditioning compressor, both working at the same switching frequency of 6.5 kHz, comparing the performance of a 15-amp superjunction MOSFET to an IGBT with the same current size. In both cases, the results show a reduction in power losses and an efficiency increase over the entire input power range using the superjunction MOSFET IPM. Another important aspect that must be taken into consideration is electromagnetic interference, EMI, which can affect other devices through conductive coupling, and the electrical length of the conductors may effectively allow this noise to radiate. In fact, any electronic device is a potential source of noise, both on the power network of the installation and the overall power grid. From this analysis, made at 400 watts and 8 kilohertz, we can see clearly that superjunction MOSFET intelligent power modules have a similar behavior to IGBT-based ones. Note, please consider EMI level only as a relative value between the two devices. Board and environment are not fully optimized for this test. After an internal benchmark, we compared our IPM with a competitor's, the only one on the market. On the left, you can see that our IPM is well equipped with an NTC VTSO, and we guarantee a higher junction temperature, lower thermal resistance, and a visible short circuit withstand time. Moreover, it is pen-to-pen -pen compatible. On the right, we can see the output characteristics that reveal similar behavior and thus a similar on-state resistance. Comparing the same evaluation as before, both in fans and in air conditioners, ST's superjunction MOSFET intelligent power module is in line with the competitors, both in terms of power loss and efficiency. Repeating the EMI comparison, also in this case, our IPM performance is similar to the competitors, as shown on the graph. Note, please consider EMI level only as a relative value between the two devices. Board and environment are not fully optimized for this test. In order to help developers become familiar with the module, a power board equipped with the slim second series is available. This easy-to-use solution for driving high-power motors with minimal BOM and high efficiency is protected against overcurrent and over-temperature conditions and can interface with STMCU boards. The dynamic electrothermal simulation software dedicated to power devices is now available. ST Power Studio is a comprehensive and powerful power and thermal analysis that allows developers to both simulate our products and to have immediately all the info about the performance of our intelligent power modules. Various support materials are also available from www.st.com and or upon request, including flyers and technical notes, development boards and evaluation software tools, promotional plastic panels, presentations, and reference designs. For additional information, please visit www.st.com.